Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Birdie, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. Today, we're being joined by Samuel Brock Flynn, author of The Dark Hour on Halloween. Samuel, welcome to the show. Thank you. My pleasure being on your show. Are you, re- are you ready to get started? Yes, sir. All right. Question number one. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writing their book? My advice is to... Um, think of a book that's never been published before. Think of something that will will interest the audience, you know, so well that you you know, right? You need to be on on par and good with your techniques of writing and techniques of of capturing an audience and interesting them, and maybe also looking for. What's the latest trend that you could maybe use? You know, what would be the latest trend as like topics wise to to kind of give you a story idea of, of you know what you want to write about? You know, like mine's a scary book, for example. That's you know, well, thriller books are somewhat the uh, coming back to booming. There, I mean, they've always been booming. But um, but a lot but I know that there's a lot of romance books too. So and what? You see, oh, sorry. Go ahead. That are very popular. So, but I'm just giving you ideas of what you could do there. So and, and you know, hey, it's not a bad idea for uh, you know doing a good scary scary short story. You know, that's what mine was a short story, but. I'm thinking about adding on to it. And what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? Um, is finding people to proofread and um, finding a place that can somewhat give you a chance to correct a lot of stuff in your in your writing material and and bring it to life and put it you know, and have somebody reread it and publish, get it published. But I think it's more of getting it published that is hard to do because people spend hundreds of dollars on doing it, and the likelihood of it getting published is very slim to none because uh, some people may say, well, we don't like the background of the story. It could be something... It could be even, you know, because they're probably put, you know, putting their own opinions on to your storyline, and they're thinking, you know, this is not a good book. You know, that that can also have somewhat of of a, a I guess you would say, of a of a conflict there. It could be a, somewhat of a conflict um, for that. So. Let's talk about marketing. So please share a marketing strategy that you have used in your book launch. That has worked well. First, when I come out with my book, I shared about my book on my radio show called The Samuel Brock Flynn Show. Ever heard of it? That's, uh, um, I mean, it gets a lot of views, but uh, my point is, that's what I use. It's my own radio show. I use that um, to get some stuff out there. So, and it's a perfect tool to use to do that. But I'm not saying go out here and do a radio show. Your voice might not be the be the uh, be appropriate for uh, doing that because um, I've done voiceover stuff before. So, and did some voice acting. So, it. It, there's a lot of there's a lot of training. There's a lot of um, criticism involved. All that. 
So your voice may not be the perfect voice to be just going out and doing that kind of thing, if that makes sense. And you mentioned so. this was a radio show. So what radio station is it on? Uh, we, I used to be called on, on uh, I used to be on the um, Power 91 FM. But, I, uh, but they shut down a year ago. So, but uh, it's just on the web now, unfortunately. So, used to be on Power 91 FM. Well, speaking yeah. of speaking of books, I'd like to know what is your favorite book, and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? Early Warning by Michael Walsh, one of the New York Times best-selling author of Hostile Intent. So, and one of the things that he said as a quote too, I know um, the reason I meant to also say that this is my favorite quote. The sophistication of force, the intrigue of Le Car, and the inti- intensity of La Lum, incredible. Uh, bad, and it's by Bad Thor. But early warning is a um, basically talks about the NSA's most lethal weapons back code named Devlin. Uh, he operates in the dark darkest recesses of the U.S. government when. International cyber terrorists allow a deadly and cunning band of radical insurgents to breach the highest levels of the national security. Devlin must take down an enemy bent on destroying America, an an enemy more violent and ruthless than the world has ever known. And and the reason why it was more of a like a mystery type book too. So uh, I'm trying to find. On trying to find uh, devil in there, so. And that yeah. So that that's that's why I liked it. Okay. Is after that so. Um. Now this is, I mean, it's a it's like watching one of those uh, James Bond movies. It I, I will say it that way. It, it does fit closely to watching a 007 there. So, um, I will say that. Okay. And for a final question, what is your favorite quote and why? All right. Um, one of the favorite quotes, oh, um, this is by Donald James Parker. Uh, the bre- uh, brevity is the soul of a wit. And the reason why is, yeah, there's, it's, a lot of, you know, people sometimes can be beating around the bush instead of pointing it. But they're, but, you know, they could be beating around the bush about something and it takes too long to figure it out. And you're like, what is your point? You know, and, and some people act stupid. So, and so, it's just not. Uh, not a good thing to be around the bush. Makes sense. So, well, Samuel, just, um, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show today. What is the best way for people to find you online? Just look my name up, Samuel Brock Flynn, or Samuel Brock Flynn Show. It's it's on there. Not too hard to not hard to see. So, and is, fine. Is your show on a specific website, or is it just best to go through like a Google search? We do. Ha- I do have a website. Yes, um, sbfshow.com. That is www.sbfshow.com, or you can go to um, SBF Show Listen Live as a keyword. That will pull up stuff too. So we use hashtag as well. So if you go hashtag SBF Show. I'll also pull us up. Got it. Well, Samuel, thank you once again for being on the show, and I wish you all the best in your author journey ahead. You're welcome. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how you can be featured in our brand new Get Published Business book, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. 